welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to share with you today how I store playbills and programs from all of the theater that I see. So I actually use the Avery, um, kind of the most durable binders that they sell, and I'll link them in the notes. Um, I use a big binder for things that are not typical playbill size, and then I use the mini binders for things that are. Some people like to display them and put them on the walls, and I'll actually show you one way to do that a little bit later. Uh, but this is mainly how I store things. So we're gonna start with this big one because I only have one of these. Most binders um, are the small ones because that's how most playbills come. But I do have some things from shows that are a little bit bigger. So I have this cast photo from Evil Dead the Musical, um, and I don't have a place to put it in. I actually have an extra playbill, so I stuck it in here, but the uh, other one's in there. My school did Newsies, and they actually gave newspapers as the program. So I stuck that in there. We saw Leslie Odom Jr. with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, and they do this whole big program for their whole season. Um, so I wanted a place to keep that. And then um, my school gave out these little info sheets for their one-act play as well. So I just have that just as a place to store some bigger theater pieces that I don't necessarily have room for, but I just kind of made a little side label for it for oversized show bills of any kind. Um, my professional, I actually have two volumes of professional show bills, um, and this is volume one, and so this is anything that's um, a, a Broadway show, a um, Broadway um tour a sit-down Broadway production in another city other than New York, like the Chicago production of Hamilton, something like that. This first one, I had all these stickers that I had purchased, um, some from the Hamilcast and then from T. Rico, and so I stuck them on there. My other ones don't have stickers on them yet. Um, but this was my first professional production. It was the 2002 tour of Rent that came through Dallas. Um, and so I have that. Uh, and then I saw like the Radio City Christmas Spectacular that came through um, a couple years later. And then I saw Sorted Lives in 2006. And then I didn't see any professional theater for a long time, all the way to 2015, like December of 2015. So in that time, it was like I graduated from college. I got married. I bought a house. I had a baby. Wasn't spending my money on theater because I didn't have any. Um, but now that we're, you know, in a different place in life, we have more expendable income for, for theater. So we did the first season subscription that we did was at AT&T Performing Arts Center in Dallas. So we saw lots of great shows there. Um, I got to meet Adam Pascal at the stage door, something rotten. That was awesome. And then my first Hamilton, it was almost two years ago. We're coming up on my Hamilversary um, in Chicago. Um, and we saw Spamilton while we were there. And then... We switched our subscription to the AT and T from AT and T Performing Arts to Music Hall at Fair Park under Dallas Summer Musicals, and did that next season. Oh, went to Chicago again. Continued my season there. Saw lots of great shows. Then we went to um, I saw my first shows on Broadway last summer. Went to New York for the first time. Saw Carousel, and Mean Girls, and Hamilton, and Once on This Island, and then um, we started the. We ended the season here at home. Actually, that was the end. And then we started a new season in December. And I ran out of room in here. So my Pro Binder got a little full. So I had to start a volume two. No stickers on this one yet. Uh, Hamilton in Puerto Rico. Uh, and then we continued on with our season at home. I did just go pop in and see Falsettos at AT&T Performing Arts. Went back to Chicago. Um, that's a little, this is actually one of the props from the Chicago cast that I won at one of our Hamiltons. So I stuck it in there. Um, Hamilton came to Dallas and I went a couple times. And then they had this little um, brochure that they were giving out uh, about the historical document collection that was, came with Hamilton. And then uh, I saw Miss Saigon last. We're going to see Aladdin actually tonight. So I'm going to have some room in there for that. So those are my professional show bills. But that's not all I want to honor. So I actually do have books of other things. This one is my randoms. So these are shows I did not see, but they're things that people have given me, or maybe I went to a show and had some extras. So 
Um, this is one of the Newsies playbills from 2012. I actually got this with a purchase from Broadway Buttons. So uh, I keep that in there. I bought from eBay the Tony Awards, the Hamiltonies playbill, because I wanted a copy of that to keep. It just barely fits in these mini sheet protectors. I had to really squeeze it in there. My friend lives in Florida, and last year during Pride Month, I sent her a Hamilton Pride playbill from New York, as well as a Lion King one from here in Dallas, and she sent me this rent one. So we did a little tradesy. And then I have the Fosse Verdon playbill from the show that just uh, ran on FX. I had a friend pick that up for me and send it to me. So, And then I have some various Broadway flyers that Lithia of Broadway Buttons has also sent to me. So um, I may cut some of these things down eventually and make them into dashboards or planner things. Uh, but right now I just keep them in here until I decide how I want to use them. But this is kind of my extras binder for just whatever things I didn't see but... Um, I'm holding for some purpose. And then I do have a non-professional binder. So this is like community productions, high school productions, that kind of stuff. So this is a high school production, The Beauty and the Beast. This is a university production. So is this. Um, this is my high school that I work at. Did in the Heights. And they did these like cast photo wraps on candy bars. So I stuck that in there too. They also did a junior production of Aladdin. That's a university production. This one year they did these QR codes instead of a proper like program at my school. So um, I kept that. This is a community theater production that I had a former student in. So I went to see that. Evil Dead the Musical. We went to uh, Maryland to see because I have friends involved in that. Uh, this is a community production of Cats. This is a regional theater production of Next to Normal we saw last year as our like anniversary date night. That was cool. That's a high school production. It's a really thick one. They must have a lot of ads. Um, and a community theater, a community theater, and a university. And then two from my high school. So I keep those two. You know, like you, you never know who's going to like go on and be somebody. And um, you want to remember the work they did and a lot of these programs are really fancy actually so I keep them some people don't keep non-professional ones but I do the other thing I keep in these binders is not it's theater adjacent so these are T. Rico and cast autographs that are not on playbills so I just stuck a T. Rico sticker on there um, but if you order from T. Rico every month they give you a different postcard um, and some of these I have because I have literally ordered every month from T. Rico since they started. And sometimes I've, if I've missed a month, they sometimes will sell the thank you cards from previous months for a couple bucks. And so I'll add them to my next order. So yeah, I have ordered from T. Rico a lot, but maybe a few less times than I have cards. But all of the order cards that you get every month, I have saved in here. Um, some of the cards, like, um, this one's from like the Prizeo campaigns um, that I didn't win, but I paid for the postcard as my thank you gift a couple of times when I didn't have the money to donate at the higher levels. So I've, I've literally got every one except for the June one, but I haven't placed my June order yet. I do actually have something I want to order, but I'm waiting for payday. You know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I've got all these T. Rico cards in here. And then um, I wrote to Lynn a million years ago and got a response. So I stuck that in here. And then my son also wrote to Lynn and got a response, and I stuck that in here to keep it protected. And then Jose Ramos, who is of the original Chicago Hamilton cast, is, like, super good at being a pen pal. And I donated to his Puerto Rico uh, benefit concert thing, and so he sent me some little thank you notes. And then, actually, I wrote him a letter, and he writes, he writes back, like, he'll be your pen pal forever and ever if you keep it going. Um, so I stuck those in here, too. He's really, really sweet. Um, he's actually the first Hamilton cast member I ever met, and he's super, super kind. Um, he's not in Hamilton anymore. He's working on his own music and doing some other stuff, but he's fantastic. So that's it. That's how I store my playbills. I'm going to show you one more way that some people like to store playbills as well. So I actually store my son's playbills a little bit differently. His are all on the wall, and I only store his like this that are from professional shows. So right now that's Broadway tours. Um, eventually he'll see something on Broadway, and it'll go up here too. But these are just little um, 
cheap frames from Amazon with the playbill on top of the first page of sheet music from his favorite song in that musical. So you can kind of see what we're working with so far. Um, there is a website where you can download a preview of the first page for free. Um, it does actually say like preview, preview, preview or something like that underneath it. But when you put the playbill on top of it, you can't see that. And so it's fine for decor. It wouldn't be great to actually like use it for music purposes, but it does work for this. So this is just another cute idea that is not even my idea. I stole it from someone who posted it in the Broadway Goes Pop Facebook group and I loved it. I thought it was cute for his room because his room is music themed. So like he has all these records on the wall and his name is on records and he has like guitars and drums and stuff on his bedding. Um, so I thought it, it fit his little theme perfectly. So there's another idea for how you can display your Playbill collection.